Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here with Sir Patrick McLaughlin, who is the chairman of Visit Britain. And we're talking with Sir Patrick on during the week when uh, Visit Britain is staging its Explore GB in a virtual form. So we're doing a virtual interview with Sir Patrick. And of course, there are a lot of questions about what's going to happen with the tourism to Britain. Uh, that's been one of the themes of this conference. And we're going to find out a little bit from Sir Patrick himself on Insider Travel Report. Now, Sir Patrick, of course, the big question you know, everybody wants to know, and I know you get your crystal ball on, when will Britain be once again open to travelers, especially specifically American travelers? And did the recent reopening timetable announced by Prime Minister Boris Johnson mention travel and tourism? It, it did. Um, tourism is very important to the United Kingdom. Uh, there's a global travel task force, which we're part of, which will report on the 12th of April. Uh, and obviously that will give us hopefully some more directions as to where we're going. What the prime minister said when he did his national sort of roadmap was that uh, he's looking forward to seeing international travel return, but it will only return when it is safe to do so. And he doesn't anticipate anything uh, before the 17th of May. But we're making very, very good progress in the United Kingdom at the moment with vaccination. Right. And uh, vaccination is on the increase. There's now over 20 million people that have been vaccinated. Um, I'm one of those uh, 20 million. And, um, you know, it, it, we're, we're having a very successful rollout of vaccination. And by mid-July, we expect to have seen the vaccination for all the adult population. Well, we're hoping we'll catch up here in the U.S. as well. We noticed how successful Britain has been. Uh, the other question, you know, you, it was just in May of 2020, you were named chairman of uh, Visit Britain. Uh, what, what a time to become chairman of uh, travel and tourism. Um, now, what has been the pandemic's impact on British travel and tourism? Uh, just how devastating has been this been to Britain and its economy? Well, it has been devastating, but we've seen that across many countries around the world. Um, the, the, the truth is, you're, you're right. I actually applied for the job in January. The, the, the cutoff was January the 10th, uh, 2019. So right. that's when I applied and everything was looking really, really quite good. And the tourist industry was growing and we were looking forward to seeing more and more tourists come to this country. And we, we had a number uh, coming from the United States. I mean, the 2016, 17 and 18, we had record numbers of people coming from the United States. So I was uh, hoping to be able to carry on riding that particular uh, that particular horse. It's not turned out that way. But I think what's important is that when people do come back, they know that the right measures have been taken, that the right kind of welcoming environment is here for American visitors. You know, we're looking very much forward to the visit of uh, President Biden to the G7 in Cornwall uh, in June this year, hopefully. Um, so uh, we'll uh, we'll start by welcoming, uh, hopefully uh, welcoming the president and then being able to welcome a lot more Americans as well. Well, we hope so too. Uh, of course, I, I thought it occurs to me by May 2020, maybe I'll, there were no more candidates who were going to take that job. I tell you, you, you walked into it this this year, but you've done a great job, uh, and Visit Britain has done a great job of, of in increasing awareness of Britain. Let's let's talk a little bit about the hard part. How does Britain recover? Uh, what plan does the government and Visit Britain have to bring tourism back? And are you going to start any major promotional campaigns? And is the government going to invest in them? Well, we will want to do those promotional campaigns. Obviously, we want to do it when it's safe to do so. I mean, right. what we can't what we can't do is get a full start. We can't sort of say, "Look, we we want you to come back here," and then somehow say, "Actually, we don't want you to come back." Um, you know, we we feel that we've got a very close relationship, and I've always had a very close relationship uh, with the United States, not just at a government level but also at a citizen level as well. So, you know, welcoming uh, the United uh, visitors from the United States has always been important to us. So uh, we've got a, we, we've pioneered a, a good to go scheme so that when people go to destinations, they know that the right kind of uh, facilities have taken place. If we need to have social distancing, we can have that. Hopefully by the time we get international visitors back, we won't be as, as strict as we need to be on international on uh, social distancing, but also, you know, san hand sanitizers and making sure that uh, places are safe for people to visit. Because we won't get visitors back to this country 
unless they feel secure in coming here. We're aware of that, and we know what we've got to do to do that. Now, uh, right now, what do you think is Britain's biggest attraction for Americans? You know, what's the one thing you think is going to spur them to get back to Britain? Uh, what sort of themes and promotions do you believe will resonate with them? Well, I think Americans like coming to Britain because there isn't a language barrier, for instance. The English language is, is one of our strongest, uh, um, and, and we did, we did, you know, we, we, that's always been ours. So uh, that, and, and the attractions that we've naturally got. But one of the things we might want to try to do as well to say to Americans is don't just visit London, but look at the rest of the United Kingdom. Look at Scotland, look at the Wales, uh, look at the attractions we've got there. And uh, earlier I was talking to somebody and they were talking to me about Bridgerton um and the uh, bridgerton sort of destinations before i became took this job up i was actually a member of parliament for for derbyshire dales and in derbyshire dales we got chatsworth house chatsworth house is uh, has great american links with the kennedys uh, kathleen kennedy is uh, buried at enza and um was uh, married to the duke to the duke's uh, uncle so the president right. duke's uncle so uh, there's lots of there's lots of bits uh, that would really interest americans in the united kingdom not just in london but outside as well yeah well actually i was in chatsworth house uh just a couple of years ago so it's a wonderful place to visit uh now what what uh do you think what COVID 19 related protocols and policies will remain do you think for visitors to the uk uh, and how long do you expect them to remain in place for the rest of the year into uh 2022 well, I think, look, on, on those sort of things, we've got to rely on the best advice that we get and the medical advice. And that's that is changing all the time. But I think one of the important things will be vaccination um, and uh, sort of uh, uh, an acknowledgement that people have been vaccinated because the, the results that we're getting as far as the vaccination is concerned that we're seeing at the moment, at the moment, we've got three um, particular vaccinations that have been licensed in the United Kingdom uh, and they're we're using very heavily two, and I think the third one is due in the country uh, later later this month. Um, so um, I, I think those will be certain things, but that will change. And what we need to do is at Visit Britain, and what we will do at Visit Britain is make sure that when people come to this country, there is easily advice for them to, to, to see. We have mm -hmm. seen um, some of the organizers of some of the big festivals, the, the big uh, pop festivals, the Reading and Leeds, uh, festival yeah. actually saying that they're going to go ahead uh, this year. Glastonbury has been has been put on uh, is not taking place this year, but other ones are. So I think as the year goes goes by, we're learning more about the virus. We're learning how we've got to sort of comprehend and stop the virus and what we need to do to make people feel safe. And that's very important because we don't want a full start. We don't want to sort of welcome people here and then all of a sudden have to put the shutters down. And I think that's something that will be very much in the government's mind. And obviously we will uh, follow what the government advise and also make sure that advice gets out to you as well. Well, absolutely. And uh, and then the last question I have for you is, is that, you know, obviously 2019 was all record banner year, as you said. Uh, uh, and how quickly can we get back to that? I just got off one of your presentations for Visit Britain or the survey saying it might not come back for visitation until almost 24 and for spending until 25. Uh, is there a way to, you think you can accelerate that? Well, look, I, I you always ask, you ask, you ask various research people to give you research, and it's always a useful guide. But I right. actually think that there will be, I think there is, there will be a pent up feeling to see some of the sites that you've not been able to see and to make some of the visits you need to be able to see. There are always interesting uh, guides, those sort of things, but I think there is a desire to travel. We'll see that desire, but it will take a bit of time uh, right. for pe some people to get their confidence back. Uh, and to feel confident about that. Uh, and, and that may take a little time, but uh, I hope that uh, by the late summer of this year, we can start to see visitors coming back to the United Kingdom. And when they're back, they go back home and tell their friends, A, they've had a great time and it was worth coming. And that will feed on to more visits in the future. Well, Sir Patrick, uh, I'm ready to be there right now. 
I, I was supposed to be there two or three times last year, and uh, all those visits fell through, of course. And if you can smuggle me, smuggle me in there right now, I'm, I'm just just let me know how to get there. Uh, well, so I'm, not sure, I'm not sure. I'm not sure as, as chairman of the British Tourist Authority, I can smuggle anybody anywhere, and I don't think it'd be wise <laughs> for me to do so. I might get into a bit of trouble for that. And James, I wouldn't want you to get in trouble. No, that's true. Well, thank you. Anyway, I will be there as soon as I can, as soon as it's safe. Uh, I want to thank you for taking the time, Sir Patrick. And uh, again, stay safe and let's get tourism back to Britain. Thanks very much. And I will get to the United States when it's safe for me to do so as well. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll smuggle, you, smuggle you in any time. No problem. <laughs> uh, I'm James Schillinglaw and this is Insider Travel Report.